What's up YouTube? It's your boy and today I am very excited to be bringing you a first look at Irwin Memorial Zoo which has been my main Planet Zoo project for I think about a year now. As you can see there is already a lot of things that have been built uh, but today I only want to show off what I've done with the entrance. This entrance building I've almost got it completed it's like 90% of the way there but I'm really proud of what I've done here and lately I've just felt inspired to start showing off what I've done in this zoo for YouTube so let's get right into it so the first thing I want to address here is that the lighting of this entrance building in relation to the sun is is wrong so when I started building the zoo about a year ago I had no idea what I was doing this is not even close to being the original entrance for the zoo this is version like 4.5 at this point the original entrance was just like a little 4 by 12 meter rectangle with a path going through the middle it was very uninspired. I had not done any type of research into architecture. I hadn't been watching all the Planet Zoo YouTubers I have now. And so I just I, I just started doing stuff. And you know, now here we are. And uh, I'd say this is a little bit better than a four by 12 rectangle. Just, just a little bit. But back to the lighting. The, the entrance buildings for this game are always, you know, located when you, when you load up a sandbox file. They're always put in one spot, and so I just built my entrance at that spot without realizing that the sun, it rises over there in the east, it sets over there in the west, which makes this the northernmost part of my zoo, when this is actually supposed to be the southernmost entrance because the way I have this zoo oriented, it's like arranged into geographical locations. And so this is like the southern tip of Africa is where this entrance is supposed to be. I messed that up and there's not really anything I can do about that now unless Frontier implements a way for you to reorient where the sun shines. I'm just stuck with this forever, which, you know, is not great, but uh, there's really nothing I can do about it now after a year of work. I can I cannot Just switch everything around that would just not I, I'm, I'm not doing it not happening So uh, Let me get a little bit into uh, my made-up lore for this zoo Obviously you'll have noticed the title Irwin Memorial Zoo. Yes, this zoo is dedicated to Steve Irwin who is one of my heroes and if you like animals he's probably one of your heroes as well but the idea behind the zoo is that it's built in the future basically a fictional future where people of the world have started taking conservation more seriously and this zoo is kind of the uh, the product of that where people actually, you know, start caring about the animals. And so the zoo, it's really more than a zoo. It's its like a kind of a resort. I guess I'm kind of stealing some inspiration from Kowali Zoo in this aspect. But, you know, if you build in Planet Zoo, uh, you definitely, well, at least if you watch Planet Zoo YouTubers, you definitely take inspiration from Kowali Zoo. Haven't we all? Yes, we have. Anyway, this is like a zoo resort, and the, the main idea off of this is just, you know, the more profit you can get, the more of that profit can be put back into conservation work. And so that, that's basically the, the idea of this zoo. And zooming back out real quick. This building, uh, I didn't really take any inspiration from any real-life buildings, or it, it doesn't have any real architecture style. 
it's really just like a modern-ish building, very modern, uh, with a lot of obviously African designs because this is the African section of my zoo. And so, you just walk into this entrance building here and it's like nice and open, but it's also very like, I, I like I said, I haven't actually finished 100% of the entrance building, it's like 90% done. So like, it's supposed to be very natural, sort of like, what's the word? It, it's a mix. Uh, it's supposed to like blur the line between nature and architecture. Uh, really cool. Uh, this big sphere in the middle is going to be a globe at some point with like, you know, all the continents on it. Uh, I haven't done that yet because, you know, there's still a lot, a lot of things to do. This, uh, this building has taken me so many hours. I was going to have this done like so long ago. But it's so complex and so detailed that it's just taking forever. But I, like, I can finally say I'm proud of this entrance. Like, I, like I said, this is entrance, like, 4.5. So I've redone this over and over, and it's been completely different every time. But, like, one of my big goals with the zoo is to just to make things that I'm proud of. And I can finally say that I am proud of this entrance, like... It genuinely looks great, and it, I know it just kind of sounds like, you know, I'm talking myself up, but, like, I, I really do think this is just an excellent build. Um, moving forward, on the, the left wing, this it's just restrooms. Nothing, nothing fancy or special. It's, this obviously needs to be a little bit more decorated. I like the, the glass roofs here, but... I, I finished mostly, again, 90% complete the restroom on this side. I haven't worked on that one very much yet. But it's more than just the little uh, facility toilet blocks. I actually built some actually stuff. Obviously, here's the, the toilet block here. But I built, like, these sinks and the mirrors and, like, the, the towel dispensers. And it's supposed to be, like, black and white, like, like a zebra. It's like a zebra-themed bathroom. I thought that would be fun. And then going back out. On the other side, there's going to be a gift shop. And uh, the gift shop is not even 90% not even complete. It's like uh, not even 50% complete. Maybe 10% maybe complete, to be honest. The gift shop is not even close to being done. But uh, this was kind of like a... A newer idea I had this idea relatively late in the planning of this entrance I my original idea was that the entrance building was gonna have the suspended gondola rides attached to it and those were gonna go across the entire entire zoo the, the gondola rides were just gonna go everywhere in a big loop but then I realized that just wasn't gonna work and so I had to redesign a bunch of stuff and so yeah this is a gift shop now which I was not planning on being at a gift shop, but it is. Um, and that's really the extent of the interior of this build. And then out here, there's some, uh, maybe some sneak peeks at some other things that will be coming in the future. Oh, let me get out of this camera mode. So like this is, <laughs> this is what the, the front or at least the lighting of the front of the build should look like. It should look like this. I would like it to look like this. I can't make it look like this right now. Unfortunately, it's all in shadow and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but I did also pay a lot of attention to the lights. I really like how this building looks at night as well. I just want it to be like have a bunch of lights like glow. So it looks really cool. I like that as well. And then... Yeah, that's about all I have to show for now. Um, a few uh, goals that I had with this zoo. I think the main goal, the thing that I wanted to accomplish, is I wanted to put every single animal in the game into the zoo, which is nuts. And it gets even more nuts when you think about how 
not all the animals that are going to be in this game are in this game yet because we keep getting new animals in the DLCs and every time they add in more animals then I have to figure out where to put those animals and that's the main reason why I was frustrated with the arid animal pack because they're all African animals and the African section of my zoo is the only one that's like maybe even 50% complete at this point I've like kind of done a little bit of Australia section work and nothing else that's it and so with all these new African animals now I have to figure out where to put them but my next video which I think I'm gonna try and do a speed build which is gonna be a new thing for me obviously I have, this is only like my third plan of zoo video so everything is new at this point but yeah it's gonna be a speed build for the dromedary camel so keep an eye out for that I'm excited for that I already have a plan I know where I'm putting them but yeah I want to put every animal in this zoo and which I guess I'm just a crazy perfectionist I don't know um, other things uh, I've obviously I mentioned I've taken a lot of inspiration from Kowali Zoo and I wanted to try and make something that could even be like as comparable as how incredible that zoo is which and again is crazy like that that zoo has like four people working four five I don't even know at this point a lot of people working on it and so for me to <laughs> for me being new to this type of game trying to make something as good as that is just ridiculous but you know I'm just trying to make things that I'm proud of like I said and th that's the main goals the zoo is kind of like it's kind of fantastical fantasy what's the word like this this zoo couldn't really work in real life but i'm trying to make it realistic there's like a very fine line because there's really like no budget for this zoo really like spared no expense just craziness whatever i want to put in the zoo i can it's not supposed to be like practical necessarily just meant to look good other goals um if i have other goals i'm not thinking of them right now but yeah that's where i'm at and obviously i'm new to making videos for planet zoo so bear with me as i try and figure out how i want to do this um Obviously, if I start zooming around, you'll see that it's dropping frames and I'm in pause mode because my PC is like not bad, but it's also not incredible. And there's also a ton of things that I've already put into the zoo. So, um, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, keep a lookout for that dromedary camel video. I will be dropping that on Tuesday on DLC launch day. So yeah, I'm really excited to start actually putting this on YouTube. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, gamers. See ya.